Hello, my loves. Welcome to day four of Embodying the Goddess. My name is Tiara Chardé. I am a prophetic oracle, ordained minister, certified master life coach, best-selling author, and CEO and founder of Embodying the Goddess. We are here to honor and restore the path of the goddess, honor and restore the path of the priestess. I am so excited to be here with you all today. Um, many of you have been emailing and reaching out. I am overjoyed because goddess energy is, is something that is very near and dear to me. If you would have told me several years ago, I would have laughed at you because I'm like, me? Goddess? I don't know about that. And a lot of that has to do with how you know we were brought up. We Many of us we weren't taught about the goddesses or goddess spirituality or how to embody it. In fact, many of us was taught were taught that that was blasphemous. That that you couldn't embody a goddess because the goddess doesn't exist. There's only Father God. So this whole journey, this whole path is about expanding our consciousness and expanding our understanding, which is really what consciousness is, right? Expanding our understanding of the divine, of the sacred, okay? And in knowing what it means to be a goddess, what it means to embody the goddess, how does she show up, how does she operate, right? So on this day, day four, we're going to be talking about beauty and luxury. If you remember in our introductory video, I spoke about the goddess energy not necessarily being about hair and nails and clothes and shoes and all the things. You first have to embody the energy and vibrate at the frequency of the goddess. You have to know and understand her. You have to learn her and see what she is all about. Once you do that, once you move through the levels, now we get into beauty and luxury. Um, because we worked on the inside, now it's time to continue to work on the inside, but shine that forward, okay? So the goddess is someone who surrounds herself with beautiful things, okay? Beautiful things. Whether this is this beautiful environment that I have right now that you're, that you're witnessing with the pool and the palm trees, it's very, very gorgeous. Whether that's a bouquet of flowers that you buy weekly, or your garden that you tend to every day. Um, clean sheets. Uh, beauty and luxury has to do with oiling your body. Feeling, feeling beautiful. Actually feeling it to your core. Goddess spirituality is about that. It's about feeling the beauty. True beauty is felt not seen. So we learn how to attract more of this vibration into our lives when we tap into goddess spirituality. Beauty is another form of abundance. Many of you, you could be feeling the call to join a yoga class, to stretch more, right? Move your body around. You could be developing a new skincare routine, right? You could be um, dyeing your hair or choosing to wear your hair naturally. Tap into your beauty. You don't have to have, you know, acrylic nails, but make sure your fingernails are tended to because the more beautiful we feel is the more beauty that we can experience in our life. I find that with this path also, you know, many people think that black women or indigenous American Indian indigenous aboriginal women aren't allowed to experience beauty and luxury in their lives and I want to say that is BS no we are made we are created to experience beauty and luxury we are beautiful and luxurious it's just bringing that out to the forefront forgetting what mainstream media says about it too because many people think that you're supposed to have this light bright skin and a straight nose and small lips and that is simply not the truth the original personification the original art of the goddess was a woman who was voluptuous she was juicy she had big thighs and big booties and big lips she was the supreme mother of course she was depicted as being abundant right so regardless of shape, 
color, size, ethnicity, um, socioeconomic background. You are here to embody the goddess energy. What does that look like for you? Receive compliments as well, my love. Beauty and luxury is also about, about being receptive, receiving accolades, receiving rewards, receiving people doing good things for you. And a lot of times we kind of feel bad about receiving compliments and gifts because we're like, oh my God, I don't want to be vain. I don't want to be this. I don't want to be that. The goddess is an energy that is receptive to love, support, resources, nurturing. She receives gifts with a smile. So now to this day, I receive donations with a smile. Why? Because I embody goddess energy. Of course, I'm supposed to receive gifts. Of course, you're supposed to receive donations and tips. Of course, people are supposed to ask you, hey, can I carry your bags or how can I assist you today? Yes, you're meant to receive that. I feel like one of the side effects of being, you know, the strong black woman is people tend to treat us as if we have this hard shell. And a lot of times we feel like we have a hard shell. So in this walk of embodying the goddess, we release those things, right? That's why we learn goddess spirituality. That's why we tap into womb consciousness so that we can get here into the beauty and luxury stage where we can accept all that we are. Because when people are gifting to you, all you're doing is accepting all that you are. You're giving yourself permission to be the goddess. So tap in, tap in, tap in. All right. Another aspect of this beauty and luxury of the goddess is to know how to create prosperity for yourself. Right. And a lot of times I struggled with that on my path because we're so taught. No, you have to work for somebody else. You have to do this. You have to do that. It takes a lot of courage and strength to create your own money, especially um, when you're doing something that's uniquely and innately you. No one necessarily gave you the 3D blueprint to do something. You just got the download and you're creating it. Right. So. We tap into our goddess spirituality in order to create abundance for ourselves. And it looks like many different things. Many of you, you started your own herbalist company. You work with children or you're a writer. You're a speaker. You are a healer of some kind. You could be a reader or a diviner. Um, so make sure you, 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 you tap in as much as you can to find out what that path is for you. And if you are in Embodying the Goddess Within, if you are within our mystery school, we do assist you in that. Many of the women who I work with have created their own companies or have their own companies. They just need resources and support and understanding on how to run it. So make sure you tap in as much as you can. Click on the link in the description box to get to my website, tiarashardae.com. You go to work with me and then you scroll down to embodying the goddess within, which is our mystery school. Okay. Those of you who tap into this series, you definitely get a lot of perks, a lot of discounts for joining the mystery school. So make sure you tap in. We would absolutely love to have you. But that is all for today. I will see you on day five of embodying the goddess. Make sure you have a beautiful day. Talk soon.